Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com where we instantly improve the lives of families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can have real power and real control so that you can influence decision making even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is a very special update this week as I want to announce a very special event that has just occurred last week in Canada and this is just such a victory for patients and family advoca advocates in intensive care across the world. A family has been overjoyed as a top court rules that doctors must seek consent before taking a patient off life support in intensive care. Finally, a Supreme Court in Canada has ruled that doctors must seek consent before taking a patient off life support. A Supreme Court in Canada has spoken and has finally acknowledged and even ruled that taking a patient off life support in intensive care is something that requires family consent. Gone are the days where doctors can just overrule families and their wishes. Gone are the days where doctors can make their own rules and justify their decisions as what's in the best interest for a patient. Gone are the days where doctors and hospital administrators can look at some patients in intensive care and think because it might be too resource intensive to treat a particular patient and that the easier option is to sell to families that it might be in the best interest of their loved one to withdraw or stop treatment. Finally, families have a real say and they are not dependent on what the intensive care team thinks may be best. You can read more about the case by clicking on this link below. Thank you for watching this quick update and special edition and I'll see you again in another update next week. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll see you again next week with another update.